Uh, I've been in the fitness industry for about 13 years now, all together, since starting in Brazil and then here in the US now. Yeah, out of strength, it basically just opened my mind to, to different ways, to, to actually right ways to, to work with people and to be able to assess just by watching movement. Um, I can talk to you at any time, I can ask you many questions, you can give me any answers, but you can fool me by talking to me, but you can fool me by moving. And that's what corrective strategies is all about. I, I'm going to watch you move. Um, still going through a workout, still challenging you and watch you move on the resistance um, in different planes of motion, uh, assessing different mobility, strength, flexibility, stability in, within a workout without having to put you standing against a wall, you know, with your arms overhead or doing something that it doesn't really make sense in a day-to-day -day life or in, in regular situations. So at a strength show me that, that philosophy of watching people move and I, everything comes from your movement and then we're gonna tailor make something for you and work in certain patterns and might need to be corrected or need to be assessed you know, in more depth. So we can you know, f help that person, uh, the client, to improve the quality of life and to get stronger and to achieve whatever goals they, they might have. Brazil is funny because in Brazil, even though a long time ago they did have um, a part of physical culture um, that was forgotten, I guess, which the same thing I believe happened here in the U.S. Um, my, my beginning in the fitness industry was basically lifting with the machines, using you know, the dumbbells, barbells, um, guiding, like, you know, looking at books from, from Bompa, from Russian guys and from some Americans, you know. And uh, that was basically it, it was just the machines and, you know, the, the, the South Beach workout, you know, sort of style. And here in the U.S. in the beginning, sort of like started going more towards the same, the same, the same line. And I never really felt that, that was the right thing. I never thought it was wrong, but I wasn't feeling fulfilled about that, that, that kind of stuff. And I feel that I had more to offer to my clients, but I just was missing the, that thing. Um, and a couple months ago, I mean, I had the opportunity to start working at Art of Strength and Anthony, and that brought me what I was looking for, you know, so that showed me again, you know, brought all my back, uh, I brought my love to fitness back, and it just sort of like, everything grew on me again, I fell in love again with, the, with, the, with, the, with fitness, and thinking more in a, in, a, in a concept of physical culture, and making people better, and make people strong, regardless, regardless of anything else. So when people ask me now, when I ask them what their goals are, and they say, I want to lose weight, I want to get big, I want to get you know, whatever, I asked them, what about just getting strong? It's, you know, that's what I, I learned, I've been learning now, and that makes so much sense because everything comes just from that, you know. They used to work like that hundreds of years ago and used to work well for them, why would it work now, you know? And I've been seeing incredible results, you know, working with the vintage progressions, with kettlebells, with the ropes, with corrective strategies, which is being amazing for all my clients. I'm working with a, with a bunch of doctors and researchers uh, in the hospital area here in Boston, and it's just amazing how, how that just resonates so much into, into their training and makes everything better. Mobility, flexibility, strength, control. I could, stay, I could sit here for hours just talking about that. My main advice for trainers nowadays is to just question everything you hear about the fitness industry. I mean, I was put handcuffs on, like Anthony likes to say. You know, I got, I got stuck into that for a while. And then I always questioned it, but I never really had that, you know, I would say courage or something to actually really follow through with that. And now I feel like I gained that, that base knowledge and that I sort of like opened my mind in a way that allowed me to start questioning things about the fitness industry that made the quality of my training my personal training and to my, my clients' training much better. Uh, another part of it too, the art of strength applied really well and I could see that was a box fit here um, at the club by George Foreman III. Um, we started this idea, they started this idea of incorporating boxing and strength and conditioning by art of strength and put all together into a 60 person circuit. And it was amazing to see how that worked the same way that would work with a one-on-one -on -one session with a client. So the way I tell the people here, I'm one of the instructors here as well, 
I say that this is a personal training session on steroids. So this is not a group fitness class. I'm not going to be screaming at you, just making you move. I'm going to watch you move, throw you the progressions necessary. So it's a system that works for everyone, for a professional boxer or for someone that is sedentary, just coming out of the couch and starting to work out today. We, we were able to, to work with progressions and regressions if necessary to the point where everyone, you never skip something, you always find a way to work on it. So, and it worked, it was fantastic. My first, I think one of the first sessions that I, um, I thought here, we had 57 people in the circuit and ran amazingly. And every week I can see people getting better, I can see the progressions, the progression happening and they actually requiring that progression. And regardless of who I watch, I watch my guys here, they're 20 years old, I watch you guys are 60 years old, and they all moving together. So it just proves that the system works because it works for everyone. From someone that is 18 to someone that is 65, and they still see, see the benefit from it the same way. You know, improving their boxing skills and improving their strength. Um, so it's something great that it, it can be applied for a one-on-one -on -one session or for a group. You know, the philosophy is bulletproof. And I'd just like to, to thank you, uh, to, to thank Anthony um, and Art of Strength for everything. I mean, this last couple of months were like mind opening for me, eye opening, mind opening for me because it sort of like helped me to, you know, grow my career and make me a better person and a better trainer. Uh, I feel like now I have way more tools to help people improve their lifestyle and the quality of life. Um, just making people stronger. I think that's what we need nowadays to get people to be strong again, like we used to be a hundred years ago. You know, breaking away from that from that life of technology and just sitting down the whole day and getting people to move again, but moving in an efficient, in a correct way, uh, very low injury rates, and just about making people strong.